Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanna talk about compression stockings. And I wanna specifically compare cheap versus expensive compression stockings, and does price make a difference in the compression stockings that you're buying? Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Noreen, your resident foot and ankle specialist, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, you guys, so in today's video, I wanna talk about compression stockings and if price makes a difference in the compression stockings you're gonna buy. But first, I wanna talk about compression stockings in general. What are they and what function do they provide and do you need them? So just to hit on the, those things really quick. So if you're someone that's really active or gets really swollen by the end of the day, or maybe you have varicose veins or you're starting to get varicose veins or spider veins, you might be someone that needs a pair of compression stockings because what compression stockings do is like their name suggests they apply compression to your lower extremities and they help your veins function by helping your veins push your blood and that fluid back up to your heart okay so compression stockings come in various strengths they're rated in millimeters of mercury and 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury is the basic low end and that amount of compression works really well for people that are active people that maybe get swollen more towards the end of the day people that have achy painful legs or feet towards the end of the day or during activity and that is what I'm going to focus on in this video is the compression stockings for people that don't have a lot of pathology and they're basically using it for comfort and just to help their veins function and for these people some people can also use them just to help prevent or slow down the progression of varicose veins or spider veins now if you're someone who has lymphedema or chronic venous insufficiency or already have a very prominent varicose veins, you might be someone that needs to go up in the amount of pressure that you're applying with your compression stockings. But in today's video, I'm going to focus on the compression stockings that I wear. I personally wear compression stockings from 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury. And the reason that I wear compression stockings is just because they just help me feel more comfortable. And I know that they're helping push that blood and that fluid back towards my heart. So I just wear compression stockings because it's comfortable for me. It's something that I like. And and not because I have an active pathology to address. Okay guys, so I'm also going to touch on the things you should be looking for when you're shopping for a compression sock. Now, here's a compression sock right here, and the things you want to look for is you do want something that's full length and goes down to your toes and actually covers your toes because you want that compression to start from your toes and help push this fluid all the way back up your leg towards your heart. So you will find some compression stockings where they're cut off right here and there's no toes. You'll also find some compression sleeves which is basically the foot is cut off so it's basically just a sleeve that goes on your calf I would recommend not getting those compression stockings because compression stockings that only cover your calf or cut off at the toes they are now forcing fluid to stay in your foot or your toes and now your foot and or your toes are going to be more swollen rather than trying to get them less swollen so when you're looking for compression stockings look for something that's full length from the tips of your toes to your knee and look for something that's anywhere from 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury. All right, you guys, so that's my quick little spiel about compression stockings and why I wear them every single day and why you might want to as well. I've always been someone that loves a bargain that doesn't like to pay a full price for the things that they're gonna buy. So then I was wondering, well, does price really matter with compression stockings? The compression stockings that I wear every day, I, I bought them off of Amazon and I'm gonna show them to you guys right now. So these are some compression stockings that I wear every single day. So they came as pairs of six. They're all black with a different type of design on them. Some have polka dots, some have stripes. And these are, unfortunately, I don't know the actual pressure on these. I'm gonna say by wearing them, they're probably around 10 millimeters of mercury. They're on the lower end. These I got six pairs for $33.95 so that each pair is $5.95. So these pairs that I have, I'm gonna put on the cheap side because they're six bucks. And these are the ones that I wear every single day now I will document like wearing them and how I feel about them so that will be coming up next in the video but I just wanted to introduce all the compression stockings to you guys all right guys this is another pair that I got off of Amazon as well they were about ten dollars and these are rated for 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury I can definitely feel these guys and they feel more tight than this pair I definitely feel the compression difference between this 15 to 20 and this is probably about 10 so these I'm also going to play in the cheaper category. Now you guys, a brand I've been hearing a lot about are Bombas. So I did buy a pair of Bombas. They are also 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury. I got these for $23.15, but on their website, they're listed for 
$4. They had a promotion going on when I was buying them, so I got a little bit of a discount. So these I am going to be putting in the expensive category. And I did want to quickly mention that the thing that even though these Bombas are expensive, one thing that I do like about them is that for every pair you buy, they donate a pair to homeless people. So I think that's really cool. I think that's really awesome, and I love that they do that. All right, you guys, and the last pair I'm going to check out are by Smart Wool. I paid $30.46 for these, so these I'm also going to put in the expensive category. And... At the time that I bought them, I did get a discount code, so it took off, I think, $5. So if you were to buy these at full price, I think they'd be more around like $35 or $36. And these Smart Wool says are 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury. So obviously, Smart Wool falls into the expensive category as well. Now, you guys, comparing all of these compression stockings and the way they feel, the expensive ones definitely feel better. They're softer. So that's one thing I noticed right away about the more expensive ones they're softer and thicker. Uh, my cheapest pair for six dollars about they're pretty thin and not as soft as the other ones but they do their job. So hey guys today I'm going out I'm going to be wearing my I'm wearing my cheap compression stocking from Amazon. I've worn these a bunch of times before. They're super basic compression. They don't leave like marks or anything on my skin. I just got home from wearing my black compression stockings, like the cheap ones from Amazon. And I'd say they did a pretty good job. Now these are the ones that I wear all the time consistently. So I've worn them before, but I'm just documenting today how they felt. They definitely provided a little bit of compression, but not a lot. It's just enough for someone who doesn't really have much pathology but just wants that compression for that comfort and support. Okay, you guys, so today I'm going to be wearing my smart wool compression socks. And again, while I'm wearing them, I'll be standing, sitting, driving, walking, not doing any sort of extraneous activity. So I will let you guys know what I think of them. Okay, you guys, so I wore the smart wool socks for probably like six or seven hours today. And I have to say that I did like them. I liked how they felt. They were super soft in terms of the material and like to the touch so I like that. Other thing I really liked about them is I could really feel the compression on my calves. It wasn't anything too strong or tight but I definitely felt it and I knew that the compression was there and I personally really like that. If you're someone that doesn't like the feeling of compression or that tightness then you might not like them but for me that worked really well so I say it was a pretty good pair of socks but I don't know if it's worth that much money. You guys, I'm going to be wearing the Bombas today. And basically when I'm wearing all the compression stockings, I'm just doing my everyday activities. Walking, I'm standing, I'm sitting, I'm driving. I don't wear compression stockings when I'm working out because I do martial arts to work out and we train barefoot. So I don't wear compression stockings when I'm working out, but it is something that you could try if you wanted to. I just personally don't. So these are the circumstances under which I'll be wearing all the compression stockings. And I will let you guys know what I think about them okay you guys so I wore the Bombas today and like I said I was driving I was standing I was sitting I was walking and they felt very soft I really like that they did provide compression but not to the level that I was hoping for because they're rated at 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury so I was hoping they would have been a little bit more compression than what they actually did but overall, it's a good compression sock. It was really expensive, but it, it did do its job, but just not as good as I was hoping that it would. Um, but I do really like that they help out homeless people and that they donate a pair to homeless people. So they get a bonus point for me for that. Okay, you guys, so today I'm going to be wearing these compression socks and I've worn these before these are a pair I've had for a while I know overall that I do like them but I've never worn them all day thinking thinking about it so I'm just gonna be more conscientious about it for this video and I will let you guys know. Hey guys so I just got back from wearing the green compression stockings and I have to say I love those compression stockings they are my favorite and the reason that they are is because I can just really feel the compression I know that 
they're there but not to the point where it's like painful or annoying it's just i know that they're doing their job and it feels good especially on days where you know you're on your feet all day and i don't know it just feels good i really like them they did their job well i know that they did help my veins function and i just like them okay guys for the last couple weeks i have been wearing all of the socks the expensive ones and the cheaper ones um i just didn't always document it so now i'm gonna share my opinion with you guys so we'll start off with bombas the pros with bombas is that they're super soft they're super comfortable i do like that they donate a pair to a homeless person for each pair that you buy and the third thing obviously that is the most important they actually function and they do provide compression the biggest con with bombas is their price they are pretty pricey and the only reason i bought them was to do this video and i probably will not be purchasing them again just because they are so expensive and maybe that's how they being able to donate a pair to homeless people as well uh because you're paying so much for it so maybe that's how they can also help out homeless people i don't know but then there's smartwell kind of the same situation great material super soft it did provide its function it did provide compression the other thing that the smartwell does is that it's made out of wool it was sweat wick which my feet don't really get sweaty but I definitely kind of felt a little like coolness towards when I took my shoes off and had those socks on so I think I do feel what they're talking about with what could potentially benefit someone that does have a little bit of uh, sweaty feet and then obviously the cons of Smartwell is that they're super expensive they were the most expensive ones I believe then there's the pair of black that I got off of Amazon the six pack black ones that I got from Amazon they're the cheapest now the pros for them is that they're cheap they also perform their function they provide compression they do their job the cons for them would be that they aren't as soft as the more expensive ones and they don't feel as luxurious but they also don't feel like sandpaper or anything like that so they're still great socks and I'm gonna keep wearing them just compared to the expensive ones they're not as soft then we have the green pair that I got from Amazon and the pros for that is that they provide compression really well and they're affordable the cons for the green ones are again the material wasn't as soft and luxurious luxur luxurious feeling as the more expensive ones so out of all the four that I tried my favorite ones are the green ones they are the cheaper side technically the more expensive of the cheaper side one because one pair was about ten dollars but those are my absolute favorite they provide really great compression and they feel fine just because they're not as soft as the more expensive ones doesn't mean they feel bad they just they feel fine it's not a big deal to me so in my opinion, cheap versus expensive compression stockings, I think you can buy cheap compression stockings and you'll get the function that you're looking for. If you just want a pair of socks that's going to provide you compression, go ahead and buy the cheap ones because they're going to do their job and they're going to help out your veins and they're performing their function. Now, the pros of the expensive ones that I noticed was basically that they just feel better to the touch. The material is nicer and they're just softer, but they still perform their function just like the cheap ones. So if you're someone that cares about how soft your socks feel, or maybe that's something that irritates your toes, if your socks aren't soft, then definitely go with one of the more expensive brands. But if you're just looking for affordable compression stockings that, that are going to do their job, definitely check out the ones that I mentioned in this video. The black ones from Amazon and the green ones from Amazon. I do have affiliate links for them that I will post in the description box down below. So if you guys want to check those out, go ahead and do that. If you could get them through the affiliate link, then I do get a little bit of money from the link that you use, just as a full disclaimer. But yeah, you guys, so in conclusion, I don't think price matters when you're looking at function. These compression stockings will provide you with compression and do their job, whether they're $5 or $35 for a pair of socks. For me personally, I don't see myself ever spending 30 or 35 dollars for a pair of socks ever again but if they ever go on a ridiculous sale where they're super cheap i might buy them again but i feel like i'm rambling now so sum it up cheap compression stockings work just as well as expensive compression stockings so buy whatever you guys like whatever looks nice to you whatever feels nice to you as long as the compression stockings perform their function and for all the ones that i tried they did so if you guys want me to compare anything else like shoe brands or sock brands or um lotions anything like that let me know in the comment section down below and you guys don't forget to stretch and subscribe like this video and i'll see you guys next week bye